an Interpol global alert for 13 terror suspects wanted in the Mumbai attacks. The alert was issued after a request from Pakistan. The names of the suspects were not made public, but Interpol confirmed it had circulated the list of names to all its 186 members. South Bloc had no reason to cheer. Sources said Islamabad was trying to wash its hands off any further investigation and action on the 2611 perpetrators. The reference to Interpol was clearly intended to signal that the suspects were not in Pakistan. There are two things we want out of Pakistan. The first is credible action on bringing the perpetrators of 2611 to justice. And the second is equally credible action to dismantle the infrastructure from which terrorist attacks on our country have been mounted. Earlier, there was more Pakistani stonewalling on Lashkar Chief Hafiz Sayyid. We have received dossiers, information, material from India, but uh, the material contained in that material, in that dossier, uh, apropos Hafiz uh, Sayyid, uh, it's not really enough. Diplomatic sources told CNN IBN that evidence on Sayyid had been provided in five separate dossiers, which included the police confession of Ajmal Kasab, where he named Sayyid as having visited his terror training camp, confessions of co-accused Indians Fahim Ansari and Sabaudin also naming Sayyid, the UN Security Council ban on Sayyid and Jamaat Dawa after the Mumbai attacks, and his habitual public anti-India speeches that instigated terror. The sources warned that Pakistan has been consistently trying to firewall Hafiz Sayyid from any legal action. Today's developments have underscored that the Lashkar chief cannot be touched. In New Delhi with Surya Gangadharan, I'm Rahil Khurshid.